Assalamu alaikum friends. Hi there and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all fine and in the best of health. Um, we're just starting off our weekend, our Saturdays with some French toast. These are so good. You guys must try this recipe for your kids. It's basically eggs, cinnamon, a little bit of brown or white sugar with some heavy cream. You just mix everything up together and you just get your bread, any kind that you might have in the home and I just had this low calorie sugar free bread and you just um, you can do French bread any kind and you just mix it up heat a skillet or a frying pan and you add a little bit of butter and you add in the dip toast and you just fry for about a minute on each side once they're all done you could top with your kids favorite um, my kids are really into the blueberry strawberry stuff these days <laughs> usually it's bananas and sometimes it'll be oranges and stuff and lately they've really been into the strawberry family so i'm adding a little bit of that on top a little bit of powdered sugar and some syrup your kids will love these you guys must definitely give them a try and oh did i forget to mention the grown-ups go crazy for this too <laughs> sometimes we even have it for dinner like for dessert So I know lately you guys have probably been seeing a lot of rice or a lot of palaos in my videos. So that's what we did for lunch. I just made a quick boneless chicken palao for the family. My kids usually like this so I added boneless chicken breast and I'm sauteing the chicken in the brown um, onions and the masalas. Now I've just added in some tomato and green chili peppers. I'm gonna give this a mix, add in some of my spices. You guys can add whole garam masala, you guys can add zita, you guys can add salt, pepper, turmeric, and anything you guys wish to do so. I'm also doing some chicken on the side. Now this is some Parmesan fried chicken, and that is the boneless chicken breast cubed as well. You guys know that's always a kid's favorite. Now I've added my water into my rice. Once the water came to a boil, I added in the rice. I should say I added my water to the chicken and once the water came to a boil, added my rice, gave it a good dub or a nice steam and ta-da, lunch is ready. Just made a mint chutney with some salad for the sides and everyone in the family enjoyed it. Now my friends, as you guys can see, I'm sharing some mashed potatoes. I've shared a recipe for this before. I'll leave the link down below. You guys can search creamy mashed potatoes on my channel. And I'm gonna teach you guys how I make yummy masala corn to go on the side of it. So many of you guys have requested it so many, many times. So here are the ingredients that we're gonna use for our masala corn or our tarka masala corn. We have salt, onion powder, garlic powder, some turmeric, I have some dried cilantro, and I have some lal kashmiri powder, red um, chili kashmiri powder. And here are the corn. I'm using about 10 cans. I've strained them um, in my strainer and they are ready. Now time for the tarka. I've chopped up a big large onion or you can use two medium onions. Added a little bit of oil to a cooking pan. And I added some cumin seeds, some green chili powder, I mean peppers. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all these ingredients into the onions. We don't wanna really fry the onions. I mean, it's optional, you can. But I just put them in after about a minute. I just add everything in. Very quick, very simple. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of tomato sauce. Some places I know people call them like tomato puree or tomato tin. It's not ketchup, it's tomato sauce. You can use tomatoes instead of this if you guys do not have this. Um, but yeah, I added two cups of that, stirred it for a minute, added in my corn, and it's almost done, guys. So our corn's already, you know, in the cans. They're pre-boiled, pre-done, um, ready to just use or eat just like that. So basically, when you put the tarka on, it's done in minutes. So the spicier, yummier the tarka is, the delicious the corn is.
So friends, like I said, I use tin cans. If this is too much for you guys, please split the recipe. You guys now have an idea on how to make it. And you guys see the tin cans filled up one of these trays right here. So this is ready to serve on the sides um, of like, you know, delicious southern food. Mashed potatoes, gravy, chicken, um, veggies, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if it's too much for you guys, then definitely split the recipe. So my sweet friends, hope that you guys did enjoy that recipe. Kids were just, you know, playing, of course. This is what kids do these days when they get the free time after lunch. And then after that, it was time for chai. You guys know, you guys know or probably have um, an idea by now that in our house, once we eat lunch, then it's time for that good chai on top of that. So it was time for chai and lately i've been using a real amazing chai friends you guys must try it out i'll leave the link down below for you guys it's called the chai box you guys can go to the chaibox.com check it out it's basically two sisters and they started this business of chai and oh my goodness their chai is absolutely amazing if you guys have been following me on social media i'm sure you guys have an idea of what i'm talking about if not please check the link down below and check out the jai guys it's locally sourced and it smells out of this world and if you're a jai lover like me you guys must try it out and for the ones that were not having the tea we went ahead and cut up some fresh papaya because it is really in season these days guys and it is so good you know as we get older our taste buds you know they they change so whoever thought that i'd be eating papaya i can't even believe it myself we'd use it in cooking like you know to marinate chicken and stuff but lately i've gotten so used to it and i love it so much it's really really good and has really good health benefits you guys must check it out and then it was time for dinner <laughs> um lunch breakfast lunch dinner so um for the evening we made simple roti and with that i made some sag to go along with it and this is some really good desi sag you guys must try this recipe it's really good so basically in a little bit of butter i'm sauteing um garlic with the red crushed chili pepper after i just saute that and you could smell that heavenly smell then go ahead and add in a small medium tomato some people like to skip this part but but it's up to you guys add a medium tomato then what i did was i just boiled a bag of spinach that i had gotten from aldi you know when you boil it it only turns out to be like about a cup and a half so um this was just on the side of a korma i was making but yeah it was a little bit but you know the little stuff always tastes the best doesn't it and i just boiled that for about 20 to 30 minutes chopped it up added it in and just for two to three minutes i stirred it in and it was done really really nice original desi sag it was amazing and you guys know that makai ki roti tastes the best with this on the sides but we were out of the flour so we just went ahead and made the regular um ghanamo durai or the whole wheat flour and this is the korma that i made on the side of it it was really really good and i'm sorry that i couldn't snap the afterwards when we mix the sag with this curry and how good it tasted guys so that mostly sums up this video this was just a catering that i had done over the weekend and just had it in my phone so i thought i'd just share with you guys really beautiful day and really really yummy food um, mixed platter of salad just try to make it look all nice and cute some um some um cucumbers carrots onions croutons on the sides and if you guys are following me on snapchat or my social media i put up a lot of pictures so this was it i didn't make that palau it was made by somebody else but i made everything else that was on the table fried chicken crispy fried chicken i've shared that recipe twice check it out i've shared my salad recipe check that out i'll leave links down below i'll be sharing the chutney for you guys um coming up so you guys can benefit from that in ramadan 
um, the beef korma. No, I haven't shared that, but inshallah, I'll share this. Um, the Punjabi chane, I've shared that definitely with you guys. So I'll leave that link down below as well. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this breakfast or from morning to evening routine basically in our desi households this is what we do we eat 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 all day <laughs> we pray namaz we try to do you know mostly the housework throughout the day and just stay home cook clean eat relax have fun <laughs> but yeah i hope that you guys are happy in your guys' own homes with your beautiful children beautiful family always in my duas thanks again for your guys' lovely well wishes comments and for watching my videos and for all of your guys' love and support if you guys have any suggestions if you guys have any recipe requests please leave them down below my lovely friends and i will definitely have them um i will definitely read through all them and um i will share all those recipe with you guys and i have a sewing video that i'm editing with this right now so hopefully that'll be up tomorrow inshallah and i'm gonna show you guys like a sewing wardrobe that i um, make for myself for ramadan getting the kids clothes together and just you know inshallah getting ready i know we have a little less than two months but it's so much happiness like every ramadan as soon as january started i started looking so much like i started looking forward to it so much and inshallah who knows you know if we're lucky enough to even be alive to witness the beautiful month that holy month and all the gracious blessings of allah that are bestowed upon us during that month who knows if we're even going to be here but we pray and we make umid from allah that we will inshallah so have a lot of new recipes and some inspiration coming up so i hope you guys will enjoy and that's about it friends take care and allah is